Starting with news from Pakistan, now in a last-ditch effort to retain his position, Pakistan's Prime Minister Imran Khan has now decided to share the contents of the secret letter that allegedly contains evidence of international conspiracy and threats against him in the National Assembly today. Prime Minister Khan's hope here is that his party dissenters and disgruntled allies will change their minds and reject the opposition's no-confidence motion. This decision comes after Khan shared the contents of the letter with cabinet ministers and select members of the press on Wednesday. The United States has denied any involvement, saying that no U.S. government agency or official had sent any letter to Pakistan on the current political situation in the country. You're hearing a lot about something called supply chains. And Vyond's Pakistan Bureau Chief Anas Malik is joining us live from Islamabad. For more on this, thank you for joining us, Anas. Now, Imran Khan has decided to present the letter that apparently has evidence of foreign conspiracy. This after he'd already shared the contents with a select few. Can you begin by bringing us up to speed with the developments so far? Uh, absolutely, Haim. Uh, we've seen that there is a proposal that is seriously under consideration. Imran Khan uh, is likely to present the letter before the Assembly in a closed session and that has been echoed by the Speaker of the Assembly as well last night in a tweet where he said that in case if the opposition and government agree, then the matter can be dis discussed in a closed session of the Parliamentary Committee on, na on National Security. Now, it is still unclear whether or not this will be tabled today. But in all likelihood, yes, uh, there are speculations that the government would want to have a debate, would want it to be tabled, but mm. uh, uh, the onus would lie on the opposition because today is when the debate for uh, the no-confidence motion kicks in formally. Him. Right, absolutely, Anas. In fact, I was just going to come to that with the NQMP throwing their weight behind the opposition. What are the chances of Imran Khan retaining power? At this point of time, the chances are very, very low. Uh, because he's clearly out of the number game and as and when the no, vote of no confidence happens, that's where, where he would be losing majority and in, uh, eventually the government as well. But in case uh, Imran looks uh, keen to pull a rabbit out of his hat, uh, the Pakistani Prime Minister looks very keen on doing that. So therefore, uh, uh, you never know if there is a surprise that might come. But going by the number game right now, hmm. uh, the opposition says it has 175 in actuality, it has 177. One of the members was out of the country. The other is under arrest. So therefore, it's uh, 175. Whereas the government coalition has 164, which is clearly far below the number of 172, that magic right. number that is no that is needed to attain majority and claim stake in the government. Him? Right. All right, Anas, thank you so much for... Beyond is now available in your country. Download the app now. Get all the news on the move.